Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 8. In that we'll see the innings 10.4. So if a student cycles down to school at the rate of 12 km per hour, he is early by 10 minutes. And if he cycles at the speed of 9 km per hour, he re reaches late by 5 minutes. So you have to find the distance of the school for his home. So what will you do? First, we'll take, let the distance to school be x kilometer. So now you know the formula that is speed is equal to distance by time. So how to remember this one? So that d divided by t. So you know the word detergent. So this is one of the way to remember. It starts with d and ends with t. So instead of saying what is time, they have asked for the this one distance and then you will say speed into time so just remember one formula and later on you can cross multiply it so now the speed is given here is given as 12 kilometers so below the speed you will write 12. distance we have considered this as x and we don't know the time so when you multiply this into this one so see here 12 into time is equal to x so time is going to be what that will be x this will go on the other side means it is going to get divided so that will be x by 12 but it is going to be in hours because they have, they said this is in kilometer per hour. So now we are going to convert it to minutes. So you know one hour is 60 minutes. So what will you do? This will write x by 12 as it is and you are going to multiply by 60 to make it to minutes. So this will be 12 ones are 12 fives are. So this is going to be 5x minutes. So time for this is 5x minutes. Now again we will write the same formula speed is equal to distance by time because here they said if he cycles at the speed of 9 km per hour, he reaches late by 5 minutes. So speed is 9. So again, the distance is going to be the same x. We don't know the time. We will multiply this into this. So 9 into time is equal to x. So time is going to be x divided by 9 hours. So now again, we are going. We want to make this to minutes. So we are going to multiply by 60. So here you cannot like what we'll do instead of simplifying we can just put it like this or we can simplify it because it goes with three ones are three twenties are or we can write as it is 60x by nine minutes so now what we have to see we have to see the difference in time so difference means how are we going to do 60x by nine minus what you are going to do minus 5x so here now we are going to simplify this one see now 60x by nine minus 5x so this is going to be nine so 60x by 9 minus here 5x or something is written here. So this is going to be 60x minus this 45x by 9. So this is going to be 50x by 9 minutes. So this actual difference is what? Given here because this was when he is going at the rate of 12 km per hour, he is early by 10 minutes. And when he is going by 9 km per hour, he reaches by 5 minutes. So what will you do here? Actual difference is 10 plus 5. That will be 15 minutes. But when difference in time is what? It is given here. 15x by 9. So when the difference in time is 15 minutes, distance is so here. When difference in time is 50x, 15x by 9 minutes, the so distance is x kilometer. So we'll see when the difference in time is what? 15 minutes. So what will you do here? Now see, I'll write it here. 15x this will be 15x minutes minutes means this is x kilometer and when it is just x by 9 sorry and when it is 15 minutes so what will be the distance so below this minutes you are going to write here minutes so you are going to cross multiply here so what will be there 15 into x will go on one side wherever there are two numbers will go in the numerator and this is just on this side is just a single number that will go in the denominator so now see here 15 into x so this is written in the numerator and this is a single number that will be in the denominator. So this will be 15x numerator as it is. But the denominator is going to get flip over. So that is going to be 9 by 15x. So this 15x and this 15x gets cancelled. That is going to be 9 kilometer. So bus travels at a speed of 45 kilometer per hour. How much distance would it cover in 36 seconds? So speed is given as 45 kilometer per hour. So now here they want in this one in seconds. So now we know. 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and this 1 hour will be 16 to 60 that is going to be 3600 
seconds. So we can write 16 to 60 also, or we can write 3600 both ways we can write. So because this kilometer and this hour, whenever we have to convert, if this we are converting it to meters, so this should be converted to seconds. So it will be always kilometer per hour or it should be meter per second. So now this is given, the time is given in seconds. So we will convert this to meter. So now see here 45 into this are going to convert means you are going to multiply by 1000 and this is divided by this hours means you are going to convert it into seconds so 16 to 60. So now after simplifying this what do you get 75 by 6 that is going to be 12.5 meter per second. So time is given here as 36 seconds so the speed is 12.5. So again we are going to use the same formula speed is equal to distance by time. So in place of this one we are going to write here 12.5 and here we'll write here this distance we don't know that is what we have to find out and the time is here 36 seconds so now this we are when you multiply this into this that will be 12.5 into 36 that will be distance which is 450 meter that is the distance if a boy runs at a rate of 10 kilometer per hour then how long will he take to cover a distance of 450 meter so speed is given as 10 kilometer per hour so again, this is given the distance because this time we want and the distance is given is 450. So what we are going to do this, we are going to convert it into meter. So since if this is in meter, this also should be converted to seconds. So now 10 into 1000 for this one to make it to meters. And this one is going to be 16 to 60. So now what will you do this and this gets cancelled. So here remains is 100 divided by 36. So that is when you divide this one, you get 2.78 meter per second. So now again, what will we do? We want this, we got the speed. So now we want the time. So what will you do here? Speed, again, we are going to use the same formula. So here, the speed is 2.78 and the distance is given as 450 and we want the time. So what will you do? This goes here. So that will be 2.78 into time that is 450 so time is going to be 450 divided by this will go on the other side that is going to be 2.78 so this 450 will be as it is and 2.78 will be 2.78 means after this one these two numbers there's a decimal so you are going to put two zeros so this is the denominator so numerator stays as it is this will get flip over so that will be 100 by 278 so when you multiply this one you can do any ways however you feel the how, simplify so we get that is 162 seconds. So you will take 162 seconds to cover 450 meter. Now in the next one, they said, how much time will a 500 meter long train take to cross a tree if it is moving at a speed of 72 kilometer per hour? And the hint is given that take the length of the train as the distance. So distance, the length of the train, how much will a 500 meter long train? So we are going to consider this as distance. So distance is 500 meter. So speed again is given as 72 kilometer per hour. So we have to convert this into, because the distance is given in meter. So we have to convert this into meter per second. So again, we are going to multiply by 1000 for the kilo, this one meter to make it to meter. And this we are going to make it to, that is seconds. That will be 16 to 60. So after simplifying this, we get 20 meter per second. So now we will do speed is equal to distance by time. And here in place of the speed, we'll write 20. Distance is given this as 500 and we don't know the time. That is what they have asked. How much time will this one take? So this and this goes off. So this is going to be 25 seconds. So therefore we can say the train will take 25 seconds to cross the tree. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.